What is Go Mobile IPFS? It's a GitHub project since 2019. It's based on a service um, from Golang, which sets up Java and Swift bindings for Go. So it processes all the Go code and creates all the signatures so you can call it from Java and Swift. And so Go Mobile IPFS bundles Go IPFS so that you can use it on Android and iOS. It is a general utility. The part, of, you have, part of the idea of this talk is to see if you want to try it. Um, it is used in the Birdie messaging app. Here's some uh, quick code sample. You create, this is in Java, you create an IPFS object and then you call start and that starts the IPFS node on the phone. Uh, and then you interact with, with the application on the phone, interacts with the IPFS node on the pho phone using the Kubo RPC API, which uh, is just an interaction where you send a command like cat and you give it the, uh, the uh, CID and the response comes back and your Java application or Swift application can use it. Recent updates we've done, uh, support for Go 1.18, we uh, added support for Android 11, which is API 30. I won't go into the details of what we had to do that, but it has to do with the tighter security on the newer versions of Android. Um, we improved the instructions so that, um, you know, th this is something that runs on the phone, but if your dev environment is on a Mac or Ubuntu, uh, it should be much more clear how to um, build it. And um, there, we found a bug in the original uh, Go Mobile code from Golang um, for Swift support. Again, won't go into the details, but we submitted a pull request back to their repo to fix that. Uh, and we also added a, a streaming API. What does that mean? Um, right now, well, previously, when you fetch an IPFS object, it has to be pulled into memory, the entire object. Um, now, uh, Fetch still uses the um, Kubo API, but um, the, the call returns an, an input stream so that the application can create a small memory buffer and not use up uh, much memory on the phone, which is uh, expensive. And for example, um, you could use send to file so you could fetch uh, an IPFS large object and save it to the phone without um, using up too much memory. What's next? Well, we want to make pre-built packages for Android and iOS and distribute those th through the usual channels so you don't have to build it yourself. We want to support Go 1.19. Um, right now, when, when you stream, you're still streaming from the packets which have been stored in the repo on the phone, but it would be nice to be able to fetch from you know, a, a remote IPFS nodes so you could stream a large video and again, not to burden the uh, storage on the mobile. And finally, um, libp2p uh, has this cool uh, protocol handler infrastructure, and so we want to um, update Go Mobile IPFS to expose um, the set stream handler and new stream functions. And finally, uh, what's next is maybe you will give it a try. So it's a GitHub project, and there's the link. Thank you.